Well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Mike here. Uh, I wanted to do um, a brief video here and show you my latest toy. It's called a Mighty Bill. And even though it's not all that mighty and huge, it is quite powerful. And um, it's going to be a useful little tool. You're going to see a lot of this in the future, especially when I'm out west. Um, doing my usual thing where I'm poking around old gold mines and sampling the mine dumps out there. Um, in fact, I've got a video of the wife and I doing that uh, a couple of months ago. I'll put a link to that up in the upper right because we're going to process some of the ore I sent home from that video uh, in the Mighty Mill right here today. And we're going to see if we can find anything in it. There may or may not be anything good in it. But that's the purpose of sampling, to check and see if there's something in it. So, uh, what is the Mighty Mill? Well, it is a flail mill. It's a small flail mill, portable. Um, in the future, I won't have to send samples home. I can process them out in the field and see if there's any good stuff in them. So, right now I have a um, run by a uh, corded Ryobi angle grinder. But in the future, I will have a cordless angle grinder. I'll take it out in the field with me. I'll process the ore on the spot. Pan it out quick in a tub of water and see if there's anything in it. If so, I will collect more and bring it home. If not, well, I'll move on to somewhere else. So this will save me a lot of time and effort out in the field because up till now I've had to send um, big samples home to crush them at home and see if there's any good stuff in them. But let's take a quick look inside and show you how this thing works. And by the way, I will put a link to the eBay seller who sells these. He makes them and he sells them. And the workmanship is amazing. And I'm not making any money off this. This is just sort of an unbiased uh, review of the Mighty Mill. Um, now he doesn't always have these in stock. He makes them in batches and he'll announce the new batch is coming on his eBay channel and you gotta order it right then because they sell out almost immediately. These things are insanely popular. So um, if you're interested check out the link I'll put down in the description and see when his next batch is ready. But what he's got in here is um, three D-ring hammers that are gonna spin very fast when I turn on the uh, the angle grinder and if you put a rock in this chute come down here the hammers hit it um, it bounces around amongst all these hardened uh, hardened steel octagonal sides here and it gets turned into powder really quickly this does a really good job of turning rocks really hard rocks like quartz into a fine dust and liberating whatever gold and precious metals they have in them and we might even try running some e-waste through this in the future. I'm thinking this will do a number on ceramic IC chips too, uh, which tended to contain a lot of gold. So we may do that in the future. Watch for a video like that. Subscribe to see future videos. So let me put this thing back together and uh, we'll run some stuff through it. I've got some ore here that wife and I collected on that, uh, on that trip out west. Uh, like I said, check out the link in the upper right. Uh, this was from kind of a no-name mine that we found when we were out going between two different mines I knew about. Um, it did not show up on my map, so I don't know what was going on there. I find no history on that mine, but it looked like a pretty extensive workings. Um, it looked like they had a shaft that it all collapsed and there were some big piles of uh, dump piles around it, so it looked like it was a pretty extensive working. And we collected some stuff that's pretty heavily mineralized here. And I'm going to run it through the Mighty Mill, and we'll see what we get. So let me put this back together. Be right back. Okay, I've got to put it back together. Um, I have to say, I, I should have done an unboxing video on this thing, but I was just too eager to get it together and use it. Um, it comes mostly assembled. You just have to install a gasket, bolt the front cover on, bolt the little door on, and then add your... Um, angle grinder of choice and you're pretty much in business so it goes together really easy if I do have any complaints about it it's about the fact that it will only accept fairly small rocks and even some rocks that will fit through the little grizzly here at the top will clog up they won't make it into the into the chamber down here so there are a few minor issues with it but on the whole I'm pretty darn happy with it so let's uh Let's see if we can crush up some of this ore here. Let me put a piece in, put the lid on, and power. And that's it. 
that that rock I just put in there is now dust. Now, it's better to pulse this thing than run it continuously for a couple reasons. First off, it's easier on the bearing back here. And secondly, um, I've tried putting rocks in while it's running, and sometimes they come flying right back out at you, which, you know, that can be a little disconcerting. But it's doing a number. This is hard quartz, for the most part. Heavily mineralized quartz and some wall rock from adjacent to the quartz vein that I'm running through here. It's pretty hard stuff. And we had a little bit of a um, thing where it stalled out there at first, but eventually it, it crushed it. This is a pretty big piece. Let's see if it'll go. So yeah, the, the Grizzly is kind of a, um, a restriction on what you can get in there. I had to uh, take a hammer and pulverize some of my grab samples to make them a little smaller so I could run them through here, but, well, what are you going to do? If it was a whole lot bigger, it'd be a whole lot less portable, so, you know. Let me get the rest of these samples through here. And then we'll dump it out. And we'll pan it to see if we got anything. No guarantees. Might not be anything there. Okay, let's dump this stuff out. So there's a couple different ways you can dump it out. Um, get your gold pan, put it underneath it and you can open uh, this door on the front or which i find a little more convenient because uh, sooner or later i'm going to lose one of these bolts holding the door on if i have to take them out to get the door open is i could just dump it right out like this just that works pretty darn well okay and uh there, you can see what kind of a grind I'm getting on that. That's that's pretty good. That's I mean, there's a few big chunks in there, but for the most part, it's a pretty good powder. Ooh, it's warm, too, from the friction of being beaten up in there. But uh, that's pretty good for sampling. That's going to liberate a lot of fine gold. So let me put this in my favorite pan, and uh, we'll go over and we'll pan it down and see if we got anything. Okay, I got our material in my favorite uh, pan here. Let's get it good and wet. Got a little bit of jet dry in the water. Break up the surface tension. I'll tell you what though, that Mighty Mill grinds this stuff so fine. It's like talcum powder, some of it in there. It tends to be a little bit hydrophobic. So I find I have to get in here and really mix it up with my hands to make sure it's all thoroughly wet. And it doesn't want to just float away on the surface. Jet dry helps too. So we'll see if there's any uh, any gold or precious metals in this stuff. Um, doesn't really matter if there is or not. The goal here is to find out whether there is or not. I mean, yeah, it'd be ideal if there was like a whole lot of free mill gold in this stuff but uh, the real goal is to be able to find out out in the field without having to bring this stuff home like I've been doing and then finding out weeks or a month later whether or not there's any stuff any good stuff in it you know because if I find out in the field that oh there's there's nothing here I can move on to a more promising place or if I find, oh yeah, this is some pretty rich stuff. Well, I can just, you know, load buckets of it into the truck right then. Rather than having to wait till the next time I'm out west. And then going back to the promising spots. So, that's what the Mighty Mill is going to do for me. So yeah, there's one of the, there's a big chunk that didn't quite get ground up. Getting down to the nitty-gritty here. Pretty soon we'll know if there's anything good in this. It's 
just a quick sample pan here. I didn't even run all the material we got off of that dome name mine. I got about uh, double that amount left that I can run through it again. There's a whole lot of sulfides in here. Just outrageous amount of sulfides. All this stuff up here is sulfides. You know, it got rid of the rid of the, the sand there. That's all sulfides. Let's see if there's any gold hiding underneath those sulfides. But that is a lot of sulfides for the amount of material I just ran. Those might be worth smelting in a larger sample just to see if there's any gold. In it. I'm going to have to get my loop out and have a look and see if I could see any free mill gold up in that stuff. I can't really tell with just my eye. Let me get my loop. Uh, I might have to go out and look in the sun. My uh, lab lighting here might not be adequate for me to tell whether any of that's gold or not. Let me go look at the sun. I'll be right back. Nah, it all just looks like sulfides. I don't see any free mill gold in it. But hey, even a negative result is a result. So, you know, the Mighty Mill is helping me out, helping me figure this stuff out. And you know what? That's all sulfides, though. My goodness. Considering, you know, and there's more down here. Uh, considering the amount of material I ran, that is just an insane amount of sulfides. So, you know, it might be worth smelting this stuff to see if we get any uh, gold out of the sulfides. So, all right. Like I said, we've got a result. Maybe not the one we want, but it's a result's a result. So, yeah, on the whole, pretty happy with my Mighty Mill. It works well, um, and it's going to be a big help to me out in the field in the future, I think. A few minor quibbles with it, but really nothing too serious. It, uh, it works pretty much as advertised. So if you need a machine like this, um, just check out the, uh, the link down in the, uh, in the video description to the guy who makes and sells these on eBay. As far as I know, eBay is the only place he sells them. He may have his own store. Um, his own website store, but as far as I know, eBay is the only place he sells them. Made in the USA, proudly, and uh, pretty darn good workmanship, I have to say. So, yeah, check that out if you're at all in the market for one of these. I recommend it. I give it a thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, if you found this video at all interesting, educational, informative, whatever, give it a thumbs up, too. Give it a like. Subscribe to see my future videos. Some of them you'll see this in action out in the field, Arizona, Wyoming, Utah, wherever I find myself and there's old gold mines, you'll see this in action. So subscribe to see those future videos, press the little bell icon YouTube wants you to press to be notified when new videos come out. Check out my second channel, Electric Geek 64 good stuff going on there, including some uh, new content coming out soon. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.